Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Peter Sheikh Skyra Fevert, the Slim Giant, the Smart MC, or you can call me Rashim Fundu if you like. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you are new on this channel. The best thing that you can do so that you don't miss out on anything that is going on around the globe, especially Zambia. Yes, hit the red button, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Rashim Fundu has posted a new video. Well, um... The past week something happened, something happened where we saw a video that is on my channel as we speak um, of a Chinese man that was being put by a, uh, a Zambian man, his worker, and um, of course the mayor intervened and also uh, before the mayor it was our brother Posse Zambia and his friends that intervened in that matter and uh, the mayor later on visited so that justice can prevail. And also I'm going to uh, talk about um, the bodyguard, the ex-bodyguard to President Mutarika in Malawi who has been arrested. So stick around and check out what I'm going to be digging deeper into these uh, stories. <music> Welcome back. Like I said, I'm going to be talking about the story that started last week and um, we were waiting um, to the follow-up that the mayor made and then it was taken to the higher offices so that they can uh, look out into this matter, look into this matter and then resolve it of that Chinese man that was mistreating a Zambian worker. All right. And we recommend Posse Zambia of what he did. And of course, after putting it out on social media, we talked about it. And also um, the mayor went to find out what was really happening. But surprisingly enough, when they went to the hearing today, the man who happens to be John, who was pulling a Chinese, denied that he was being mistreated by the Chinese. It is very disappointing and he has betrayed the Zambians that are having a voice to speak for him, all right? So that we can have justice, we can have our rights being heard in our own country. This guy had no powers to fight for himself and then other people that saw that um, he was being mistreated and he didn't deserve to go through what he was going through in his own country, fought for him, including the mayor who went there the following day, all right? But then he makes them to look like they didn't know what they were doing. He makes them look foolish, like, hey, why did you come to help me here? I'm all good. Let me just read what Paul Zambia, Paul Zambia posted on his page. He says, Chinese on trolley carries the day. That is already sad. How did this man carry the day? He writes, in the matter where a Chinese employer was fumed by me and my colleagues last week Friday has ended today. A listening done by his worship the mayor today at 11.35 a.m. President was John Zulu. That is the guy who was pulling the Chinese. His mother, father and his auntie. Along the Chinese, along with the Chinese owner of the outlet and the interpreter. I'm sure this guy couldn't speak uh, English. That's the reason he had to bring an interpreter for him. In the matter, John's family said that they sat down and reconciled with the employer and John has retained his job. They further said the employer is a good man and whatever John said in the presence of the mayor and Posse Zambia on camera during the visit that they mistreat him was a lie. And one would wonder why a guy we saw being mistreated, of course, in the video. And now the mayor visited the following day. He said he's been mistreated for real. But after a few days, this guy and his family are claiming that whatever he said in that video was a lie, is not being mistreated. Isn't that crazy? 
His worship, the mayor, asked John why he lied on the day of his visit, but John looked down. John further said, they, Chinese, have been forgiven for their doing. The mother further said, forgiveness is the way to move forward, as she was quoted, as she quoted a Bible verse. They considered the matter settled before his worship, who later validated the matter and considered it settled. The matter, is, the matter in the video was wrongly quoted by Remy uh, Kangwa, Eustace Mukuka, and me. We witnessed a triumph of John from morning, 8.45 a.m. to 16, uh, which is 4 p.m., of the trolley ride with the Chinese, and he confessed it. In my own words, I feel John and the family resolved this matter with a Chinese employer before the appointment day, uh, before sitting with the mayor today. The Chinese business owner has played his cards well and shunned from the face of justice to avoid charges. John Zulu and family left together with a Chinese employer and left no time to be approached, leaving me speechless my message to John, that's um, Posse Zambia. John, you have drowned your fellow citizens at your benefit. And I don't regret fighting for your well-being. Always remember, when you get paid, who helped you to get your job on permanent and increased pay? God be with you. Behind closed doors. That's uh, yours faith, uh, faithfully, Posse Zambia. Okay? The challenge continues. But then later after this post, Posse Zambia posted again. And this is what he said in his post. Um, he says, bribe attempt was made on John Zulu. I have recordings so he should not act stupid. He has betrayed Wakanda. John has blacklisted his fellow Zambians and deprived them of a voice. There is a small chance of him resisting the offer in the recording. We will forward to the mayor and higher office. That is Posse Zambia. So there is a recording of John being offered a certain bribe. So I'm going to follow up that story and bring it over on this channel so that you can get to hear and I get to know where this is heading. But then I'm really disappointed as a Zambian. The guy was being helped. Posse Zambia and the team were trying to help this guy and make the Chinese see or look to see we, we don't stay like this. This is our country and this is the way we're supposed to live and not what you're trying to do to us. You understand? But then the guy decides to betray the Zambians by, of course, getting a bribe. I'm sure which is not even going to take him anywhere. You understand? But away from that, we go to Malawi. And in Malawi, Norman Chisale, who is Malawi's um, uh, ex-presidential uh, bodyguard, has been arrested. Why has he been arrested? This is what it says. Norman Chisale, Malawi's ex-presidential bodyguard, owns 12 properties in Malawi, two in Russia, three in South Africa, and a more in Zambia. That is a bodyguard we are talking about here. Malawi has seized 78 of his cars, including Range Rovers, Land Cruisers, Benzes, BMW X5s, Jeep Wranglers, a Hammer. His monthly salary was 1,500 US dollars. Malawi has seized his 12 properties in the country, including office complexes, houses, and lodges. He has been charged to court. He was a peer to ex-president Bingo Wamtarika from 2009 to 2012. He worked for President Peter Mtarika from 2014 to 2020 and was head of his security details. I hope whatever has happened in Malawi can also happen in Zambia. While we have a new president and then they arrest those that were corrupt 
in a previous government. I pray this can happen in Zambia as well. Trust me on that one. Because we've seen a lot of corrupt leaders and then they just go scot free not being arrested or done anything to them and then they just keep enjoy the freedom out there. My name is Peter Shakespeare Favor, the Slim Giant, the Smart MC. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you're new to this channel, the best thing that you can do is hit the red button, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that you are simple do now post up a V ka video leader in a style. Catch you on the next